Hey, this is Grab and Go, and it is bow time. <laughs> When's the last time you've been to Bojangles? Bow time. I love this. We are trying a new chicken sandwich. I'm not a big chicken sandwich eater. Um, I don't know how many I eat a year if you wanted to add it up. I couldn't even give you the numbers. But this sandwich is spectacular. If you look at the size of this thing, it is big. And I've already bitten into it. It's just it's on the other side and you can't see it right now. But I'm going to spin this around so you can take a gander at this lovely chicken sandwich. And look at how big it is compared to my finger right there. It is, it is huge. So I'm happy to see it's a big piece of chicken. It's not a little teeny piece of chicken. If you get it, they did put a lot of mayonnaise on mine, so you might want to ask for the mayonnaise on the side. Um, or ask them to just go easy on it. Right down there in the crust, you see this orange stuff right there? That is the Bojangles seasoning, seasoning of some sort. Um, it's written in the box right here. It says that it is a secret blend of bold spices. And you can literally see it in the sandwich. You know, it is delicious. And this is where I've already eaten some. It is good. The crust, um, not the crust, the bun. You can see the butter right there just glistening on the bun. It is just beautiful. It's good. It's not too greasy. It may, from your perspective, look like it's a really greasy sandwich. And I'm here to tell you it's not really greasy. Actually, it's very crunchy. Um, even with the mayonnaise on there, it's still a very crunchy sandwich. And I will lift the lid off and show you what's inside. See all the pickles that they put on there? And it's nice big slices of pickles, which is really good. You know, you don't always see nice sliced pickles like this. Chick-fil-A in particular has very thinly sliced their pickles are good, though. Even though they're really thin, they're good at Chick-fil-A. But this right here, I mean, these pickles, they crunch. <laughs> they crunch when you bite them. There's texture in this sandwich. There's definite texture because the pickles are not, um, what would you call that? Thin. Yeah, they're not thin, and they're definitely crunchy. They're not foggy. So this is it, and as you can see... I've already eaten one of the uh, tater tot things that comes. I think these are called the potato cakes or something, or tater tots. Uh, come in this bag right here. These are good. If you've never tried their little tater tots, they are, again, these, these are big too. I think everything comes bigger at Bojangles. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this is Grab and Go Advice recommending you, if you like chicken sandwiches, to just give this one a whirl and see what you think. But caution, the spiciness is a very bold spiciness, and it does overwhelm the flavor of the sandwich. So if you're not one who prefers spicy foods, I do not recommend the sandwich. That is true. It may not look spicy here, but it is, it is spicy through and through. Um, you had to grab a water bottle when you, it's like, she, you took one or two bites in there and you made a bolt for the kitchen to get yourself a water bottle. It is spicy. So, and a lot of people love that spice too. But I would say in terms of specs, it has a nice bun. There's a nice crunch, the crust. It has a nice pickle. The mayonnaise, it's a nice amount of mayonnaise. And that's good. All right, that's our recommendation. Um, it's something, you know, good good to try. It is spicy. It's on that spicy side. You might want to get the mayonnaise on the side. Um, that's about all I can say other than to say dig in. All right, have a blessed day.